Hello, this is Bern, and if you've been disappointed at men and love and intimacy, on today's video, I'm gonna share with you why love is a need and not a luxury. So stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered women how you can attract the kind of man you want as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and most feminine version of you without the need for gimmicks or games. Now, if you feel disappointed, if love has punched you emotionally, if you feel like you're about to throw in the towel or you're not sure why you should go into this whole love thing, it's overrated in your mind, I'm gonna share with you right now why love is a need. It's not necessarily an elective, it's not a luxury. There's two aspects of love. First one is clear. There's the strong pull inside of you. There's that feeling of wanting to belong. There's that feeling of wanting to be desired. There's that feeling of wanting to be loved, embraced, made love to. There's that feeling of wanting to feel magnetic and in unison with somebody other than yourself. So the first aspect of why love is a need is because if you go deep down inside and you remove the baggage, you remove the pain, there's a yearning in your heart for more. There's a yearning in your heart to express yourself in ways that you wouldn't just within yourself. Now, the second aspect of love is the one I want to focus more on because it's not the one that's most talked about. And the second aspect of love, why love is a need, not a luxury, not an elective, is because of who you transform into when you consciously step into a powerful relationship. The first aspect of this transformation is the selflessness that it requires. Because if you really love your partner, if you really love the human being that you're with, you need to become more selfless because you're going to have to negotiate, you're going to have to sacrifice some things, you're going to have to compromise, but you're going to have to give more of yourself. You're going to have to give more of yourself than you would have if you didn't step into that relationship. You're going to have to tap deeper inside of you and be more vulnerable and be more generous and be more expressive and be more alive. So in essence, the transformational nature of love means that there's a human being deep down inside of you, a blueprint of a human being, a potential of infinite proportions that will not come out in quite the same way or in the same depth or in the same aliveness if you keep it within yourself. Second aspect is the transcendent aspect of love, which is when you step into a conscious loving relationship, you allow the giving and the sacrifice and the love and the fun and the play and the excitement and the love making and all of it to help you transcend. Why? Because you'll be gone one day. <laughs> Sad to admit it, but it's true. And when you're gone, the seed that you planted in somebody's heart will stay there for as long as that person leave, leaves and, and that person will in turn plant the seed of your heart into other hearts based on how you expressed and shared and gave and sacrificed for that human being. So that's the transcendent aspect of it where there's a you that's fully alive even after you're gone. Third aspect of love is the gratitude. Why? Because there's a deep sense of gratitude that comes into play when you recognize that you have a partner in crime, a best friend, a lover, a, an advocate, uh, somebody to contend with and sometimes fight with. I mean, you have that human being in front of you that's making your life so much more meaningful, so much more expressive, so much more just fun and alive than if you were to just keep it all within yourself or have the kind of relationship that you could have with friends. It's not quite the same thing. Friendships have their place, but this is a friendship that's a lovership as well. So it's your friend and lover at the same time. That unique combination is unlike any other relationship that you can have and the feelings of gratitude that come as a result of being seen and loved and appreciated in that specific intimate dynamic help you to experience more of that blessing of what life can bring. The last aspect that I want to talk about today is the inevitable suffering that life brings and your ability to overcome the inevitable shit storms that will land your way as positive as I want to be as objective and uh, optimistic, optimistic as I want to be life will inevitably land you some shit storms and 
you will experience suffering and you will experience loss and you will experience pain and you will experience nasty surprises. And to have that human being by your side who's carrying some of that burden with you and where you can do the same thing for another human being makes the inevitable suffering of life much more manageable, much more doable, much more palatable and much more... You'll have the ability to go through those things, those storms with your soul more intact. And I'll share one more thing, a bonus if you want, which is I often hear because I have the blessing of helping women from every corner of the world and hearing from them. You're talking a village in Africa uh, to some corner of Brazil to Tokyo to you name it. When I hear from someone who's saying love is so hard to find, love is so difficult, so challenging, it's pulling everything out of me. My reply is yes, the difficulty of finding love is strong but it pales in comparison to the misery of not finding it. So there you have it. Don't compare the trajectory of finding love to watching Netflix with your girlfriends because that's not the comparison. The comparison is against what would happen in your life if you don't get the experience of being able to connect that way, express that way, sacrifice that way, give that way, transcend that way. Hope this is helpful to you. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things, my dear. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the first line on the description of this video, you'll find a way to go through a masterclass I created for you, a 40 minute masterclass that shows you how to step into the most amazing relationship. Click on the first link on the description of this video below and enter in an email and you'll be redirected immediately to that and it's absolutely free. If you're watching me right now and you're saying, this makes sense and I want your help in finding my soulmate, I don't want to spend 10 more years with the trial and error, then the second link under the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Fill out an application. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out to set the time to connect. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.